after a long day at school, when you pick up your child, what is the first thing that you ask them? This is the conversation that I heard the most. How was school, Rain? Good. And how was lunch? Horrible. As a 10-year-old, I would want my parents to say, hey, would you want to go home, finish homework, and play some Nintendo? Unfortunately, parents don't get what children want. That means that parents don't understand their children. Sometimes when kids try hard, parents don't even think that they are trying. They also think that the more pressure they put on their kids, the more achievements their child can make. But the fact is that too much pressure will make it worse. Let me give you an example. I started learning violin when I was six years old. I don't know how much you know about violin, but some people say it's one of the hardest instruments in the world. When you play violin, you have to use your left hand to find and play the correct note and use your right hand to hold the bow and keep it straight. I didn't hold it at the right pose at the beginning, so every time I play, I can't keep my bow straight. Both the violin teacher and my mom try to help me correct it, but after three months, I still play like that. My mom started losing patience. She thinks it's so simple. I just need to keep my bow straight, so I just can't do it. So every time I get it wrong, she yelled at me. And every time she yells at me, I cry. The more I cry, the angrier she got. In the end, 30 minutes of violin turned into a war. What a mess! Finally, she told me I don't have to play violin anymore. I was so happy. But I have a smart mom. I have a younger brother, so when my mom told me I don't have to play violin anymore, she started learning and playing violin with my little brother. Every time they played together, they looked like they had so much fun, and my brother improved a lot. I was jealous. After two months, my mom came to me and asked, Rain, do you want to join us? Just five minutes. Yes. Now I practice violin over one hour every day. So my point is, sometimes parents have high expectations, and when children can't make progress, parents give more pressure. In my example, until my mom started learning violin, then she realized how hard it was and started lowering her expectation and encouraging me. Try to think in your chosen position and, and understand what they are thinking. If you, sometimes parents always say, let's be the best friends. Just think about it. Do you really understand what they are, do you really think, do you really ask your best friend what did he eat for lunch every day? If you want to be your kid's best friend, then you need to think of the questions you ask. If you want them to reach a target that you expect of them, then encouragement is always better than pressure. Thank you.